Today, you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be installing Windows XP onto my iMac. Yes, Windows XP doesn't belong on an iMac. No version of Windows should ever be installed on a Mac, but there's a, there's a few Windows programs that I still want to use. And the only way to use them well, the best way to use them is just to install Windows on to my iMac using Boot Camp and at a later date I'll probably purchase either Parallels or VMware Fusion still can't decide which one looks better and install it on there as well so I can use either Boot Camp and have the full power of my iMac or use it through a virtual machine and have both operating systems together so if you you, if you want to do this and like kind of follow this as a tutorial or just so you know what to expect if you're installing Windows you can find the Boot Camp Assistant by going to the Finder Applications and it's in the Utilities folder and you just run the Boot Camp Assistant there's then a lot of instructions that it tells you you should print out I recommend printing them instructions out because once you start installing this if you don't have another Mac or another computer handy then you won't have any help during the installation of Windows so it, it is help it may, this may be useful I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to need to do it should be relatively straightforward though just as an installation of something should be I've installed Windows plenty of times before. So I'm going to stop talking now and get on with the installation. So I'm going to click continue. The first thing you need to do is decide how big the Windows partition should be on the hard drive. It doesn't affect the current partition, it doesn't erase everything. It just creates a new one which is clever because most of the time if you partition a hard drive you basically just need to wipe it clean and start again. So the default here is 5 gigabytes, which is far too small. I think I'll give the Windows one 80 gigabytes. Which seems like a lot. But I'm going to be using Windows a lot for video editing. And when I'm working with video, I'll, want, I'll probably want to put the video files on the hard drive rather than trying to use it from a USB drive which would be slower so I need plenty of room for video files and that would leave 84 gigabytes free on my Macintosh HT, HD partition with 152 gigabytes altogether so I'm going to click partition it's finished partitioning it apparently I need to, you need, I need to now, uh, I can't speak today Sorry, I need to now insert the Windows installation disk, click start installation. You need 32-bit version of XP Home or Professional with Service Pack 2 or later or Windows Vista, Home Premium, Home Basic, Business or Ultimate. After you've installed and set up Windows, insert your Mac OS X Leopard install disk to install additional drivers and other software for Windows. So that that's an important step. I've now got the XP installation disk in my iMac. I just need to start installation. Should restart and start boot into the installation process. Here we are. Okay. I need to press enter. Oh, it works with the US the wireless keyboard. I'm supposed to read all of this to press page and press page down to go to the next page. I don't have a page down button. But I probably agree, which is F8. And I think I just press enter. Okay, it says do not select, leave the current file system intact. So format the partition, use quick enter. Format the drive, press F. Windows XP. Usually you would hear the Windows XP welcome music, but it needs drivers for 
the audio as well. We're now going to go through this very familiar interface. There's the Wheels desktop. Apple really didn't think through. Because I now need to eject this disk using keyboard. Ejected it by opening my computer with the keyboard and just using the keyboard to select the DVD drive and choose eject. Now we need to take the leopard disc, put that in, so again with the keyboard. Okay that's finished, I just need to click or press enter to choose finish. So there you go, Windows XP installed on an iMac. So now you may see some tutorials done from within Windows and some tutorials about Windows programs. If you have a video of you doing this or with say Vista or installing one in a virtual machine, please post it as a video response to this video. I would appreciate it. I'm sure other people wanting help and guidance on how to do this would appreciate it as well. My email address is info.com if you want to contact me. That's info at jak hyphen dash e. And at the end of that is also my website, jackie.com. That's my website where you'll find and all the other videos that I've done. A blog post to go e with each one. So if you want more detailed instructions on something, information about something, or would just prefer to read it, you can find my live stream where you can watch th things like this. This is streaming live from my Mac Mini. Join the live chat and do lots of other really great stuff. So check it out, jackie.com. Thanks for watching.